The family went straight to HCMC after learning about the shooting, only learned that Castile had died. They have questions, of course, about what happened. His family spoke with WCCO's Jennifer Mayerly. Jennifer, live at HCMC this morning. Well, as you might imagine, there were many tears and hugs as friends and family met here, and there was another emotion, outrage. He never been in no trouble. He did everything on the by, the, by the law, the and he died by the law. By the hand of the law. The hand of the law, by the law. He did everything he was supposed to do as far as being a law-abiding citizen. A good man. He Valerie Castile, with her brother by her side, says her 32-year-old son, Philando Castile, worked as a cafeteria supervisor at J.J. Hill Elementary School in St. Paul. She says she did everything to raise her kids right. He had just left my house, and all of a sudden I get information that he'd been shot in his car. What type Hitting of a threat car. was he in his car? That's what I want to know. What Calm type of threat was that? I am so super hurt because he was a good person. We're here to pray your strength. Our Family, strength friends, and their yes. partners in faith gathered at HCMC. Philando's sister, Elise, longs to know how things unfolded <laughs> and why her brother was killed by police. It's just like oh, we're please. animals. It's oh, basically modern-day lynching that we're seeing going on, except we're not getting hung by a tree anymore. We're getting killed on camera, and these officers are being able to go home to their family on paid leave. Definitely some raw emotion that you uh, are seeing there uh, overnight. And I can tell you that Valerie did tell me her son had a permit to carry. His sister, Elise, told me that the two went through the class together, Jason. All right, Jennifer, thank you very much for your work tonight.